Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program. Uh, as you can see, I have done a little bit off cam in between episodes. I just had to get a whole bunch of foundations mass produced because uh, we do need to get some space going around here uh, to move th things around. Now, um, I am kind of aware that I might be in a bit, have a little more ahead of me than what I think. So I'm, I'm realizing that maybe my production isn't what it should be or what it could be. Uh, as it was mentioned in the comments, there is actually... Someone has that entire plan is dedicated to building one thing, and it's realistic when you're building a Dyson sphere, it's not exactly a small thing. Uh, so, I do have to probably get some more organization, better production, and all that stuff, and maybe even stock stockpiling stuff so I don't have machines running the amp ru uh, machines that are not running. Like, I've got all this iron and copper I'm not even using, and I should be using it. Uh, I do have about 4,000, five, close to 5,000. Uh, plate uh, foundations right now to flatten some area. Uh, I do want to get some more research going too. One of the things I actually want to do is start working on my mech a little bit more. Uh, one of them just happens to be uh, the drive engine. Now, I don't really know what the flight is about this in this game. I'm wondering, I have a feeling this might be allowing me to fly to different planets. I don't know. It's uh, I'm going blind on this, but let's go ahead and uh, uh, get that activated while we're waiting. Uh, I also do have the energy core, or the energetic matrices, or whatever they are, the blue cores, uh, being produced. I'm not actually using them right now, so we might as well start getting some of this done. Might as well queue that up, get what I can. I need the red for that, which I want to get into today. We'll start tapping some oil and producing some hydrogen. Uh, might as well queue that one up too while while I'm waiting. Uh, let's see, mass construction. I I won't be getting into that and uh, tech power, of course. Not over the technology side. Uh, let's see. Uh, I need the reds for that. Solar collection, I might get into. Uh, this might be a better option than the wind turbines because they may have a smaller hitbox around them, so I might be able to get more place, but we'll do that because it's something we're going to need, anyways, part of this, uh, the main quest line. Uh, just queue up some more stuff here deuterium. I might need that, but we need the red for that. Don't, uh, that, as far as I know, it's just like double production or gain extra things. Uh, it's not exactly my big list of things right now. And I, well, we need that for, for the conveyors, but we need the red red ones for that. So we got to get the electromagnetic, or the energy matrix going, this one here. Uh, and this one we need uh, graph, energize, what is it? energetic graphite which is just some smelted coal and then uh, the hydrogen which comes from the oil now I have looked around here and uh, let me see if I can actually go to the planet view here uh, this is actually really handy oh I'm upside down all right anyways uh, I do have somewhere over here yeah I do have one oil seep here that's doing a little over two 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 gallons or barrels or whatever a second I got another one over here uh, I have sort of looked at recipes, and from what I can tell, uh, one of these should actually be able to up run four of these, right? run four refineries. It's doing four a second. This, pro this has a process cycle of four seconds to do two, so I should be able to get four of these coming off of one. I know we're going to need a lot of hydrogen and all that other stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, start getting that going. I do want to get stuff uh, auto, auto produce like conveyors and stuff like that. Uh, did I have the Mark II conveyor unlocked? I don't, because we need the, the red cores. Anyway, uh, let me uh, lay down some foundation here, and we'll start laying some stuff out. This is actually one thing I did like about these. Uh, I didn't real I didn't realize it was only three by that it wasn't only just three by three you could use. I can actually increase the size up to ten by ten, and so you can clean off more areas. And there was also uh, with or without texture, so you can have dirt or you can have the foundation floor like so. so I thought that was a pretty pretty neat idea anyway I'll be back I ran out of soil well, I guess we'll go flatten some more area take down some trees and get some more soil now I don't know if that's actually gonna affect that oil seep it's over there I don't think it will but it does get me some soil I hope I didn't destroy anything and I will continue on and now I'm out of, out of foundation fun fun all right, well, this is what I've got so far. I actually like the nice little gradient pattern it did over here as, uh... Oh, it was over here. It's sort of like a gradient pattern, a bit of a transition. Maybe it was just a lighting thing. 
But of course, typical me, uh, go and queue up research and I don't actually get the stuff to produce it. Now, where was my coal? Coal was over here. Uh, I do like how it doesn't dismantle buildings or take out resources, so that's, uh, that's good to know. Uh, okay, let's go grab some coal here. No, uh, not more hold shift. Alright, and that'll research that. In the meantime, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, I need steel. That's what I was going to do. Uh, I want to make some conveyors and try to get some more steel being produced. Uh, I do have this iron over here that's actually not being used, so maybe I'll go ahead and smelt that and then bring that back up in here. Uh, what do I have? I have another, another smelter. Let's close this and uh, let me get this set up and I'll be back when I'm done. Double click the space key to lift off and then use the arrow keys to control mecha movement. The moving speed will increase by 150% with more energy consumed under flight mode. Pressing the alt key can return the mecha to the ground during the flight. All right, well, did unlock it. Let's see what this does. Ah. Oh, hey, it does. Oh, sweet. Well, that's gonna definitely make it so much easier. There's that green I was talking about. Perfect. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm still getting stuff going. I was gonna try to get a, like a little storage cache set up of things uh, for like the magnetic coils and well, on this side here, uh, circuit boards and stuff like that. So let me get that done and we'll continue on. Okay, so what I've done is I pulled the magnetic coils and circuit boards over from the research line and brought them over here. I do have steel going in here right now. Uh, I do need to actually uh, upgrade my drones. I do have a few more, little bit more research to do. We'll take care of that. And at the same time, since I have steel now, I can actually go ahead and start producing these buildings. Uh, I do need um, the, the, the plasma exciter, which is just basically iron and copper, which I have on me. So I'm going to go ahead and make uh, two of these. And then I need, I want to make like eight of these if I can. And that should give me enough. Inventory capacity increased. All right, so that gives me an extra line of inventory space. Right. Anyway, uh, so that's going in. Uh, I do need to also get... Uh, now, I'm wondering if the, the, like the hydrogen gets carried on conveyors and containers, or if I need piping for the tanks. I'm not 100% sure, but I do need to make some tanks means I gotta go ahead and grab some iron somewhere. It's all the way over here. Let's see how we're doing foundations. Eh, not bad. Get in the habit of using this. Except for the fact that I need to make fuel. Oh yeah, wrong button. Uh, yeah. It's been a while since I've hit the wrong button, but anyway. Uh, I do need to want to, I do want to make, start making um, the hydrogen fuel cells, but I need the hydrogen and I also, what was that other one I needed? Is that titanium? It's showing in here. It is not. I don't think I have a research to be honest. Uh, let's find out. Uh, what are we working on? Energy drill or that energy circuit or power? Okay. Um, hmm. Where was it? It's going to be under here. Oh yeah, hydrogen fuel cell. Oh, we need that. All right, I'm going to be burning coal for a little bit until we get this research going. So, uh, yeah, let me go tap into the oil veins and we'll see what we get. Well, after some time and learning a few things, some good things and some bad things, I am finally done. I pulled some notes into these conveyors that will really be connecting properly. But here we are. We are all set up. I can actually get rid of this now. Uh, I had a bit of an incident. Uh, needless to say, I discovered that uh, when you break a container, storage, whether it be a tank or a con storage container, if you don't have inventory space for it, it spills on the ground. And I learned about manually picking things up and I accidentally hit the wrong button to delete everything. But here we are. I have two two refinery, uh, two extractors set up, generating about two oil a second. They're actually managing to keep three of these going each independently, so that is pretty good. We are producing a fair amount of refined oil and a fair amount of hydrogen, which I'm going to actually need real soon. Now what I have done is I have gone ahead and started making a whole bunch of more extract uh, matrix slabs, or four of them actually, uh, which are actually done. Now I know we can stack items. I don't know if you can actually stack the labs. You can. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Is uh, I sort of have an idea what I want to do with these. Now we can stack them on top of each other, which is great. Now apparently it's only in the, uh, same buildings can be stacked on top of each other. Uh, like storages and assemblers, uh, 
No, the smelters for some reason are probably not stuff like this, but I'm sure things like the assemblers can be and all that stuff. But now to figure out what I actually need for these, um... Oh, really? Huh, interesting. I didn't know they shared the same resources. Huh. Well, that is interesting. That kind of changed my plans, so though. I was going to have the blues on the bottom, the reds on the top, and then work my way up. But I think we're going to have to set those up somewhere else. There's a nice little spot over there. Now, what do I actually need for this? I guess I have to take it down to find out. But uh, we got to get that going. I also do have to figure out, get this finished up. So I got to go cut down some trees. Got to do some trees. I got graphene going too. Or graphite. Uh, hmm. Let me actually get the graphite set up and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I have got everything all somewhat set up. I have got conveyors being made automatically. I don't know if I showed that in the last clip, but I have that going. And then we run all the way over here. And in fact, I'll fly over here since I can. I do have to get into the hydrogen fuel cells next. But if I run over here and drop back down, and I do have all the energy the graphite going in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and need some inventory space, uh, that'll help. Uh, let me go clear out my, get this refined oil out of my system. Alright, well I'm just putting it in there now, and now uh, these tanks actually hold 10,000 units each. And what I notice is you actually see the fluid level inside this window. Now I don't know if that actually corresponds to with what's actually in the tank, but it seems to be. It seems to be about 25%. And I got a little bit more to put in there. Unfortunately, you can't do the shift click like you do with other things. But now we can go back over here. Definitely got to start upgrading this mech suit. You run all the way back over here. And then we can grab that and get that research going. And then what's next? Next is the universal exploration. Or actually, solar power is next. Ooh, that might be interesting. All right, while that is doing its thing, I do have uh, four labs set up over here. Oh, I'm out of fuel. Four labs set up over here. I have two of them set up for the energy matrix, and two of them are going to be processing it. So let me get all the conveyors and sorters and all that stuff set up for that, and I'll bring you back. Now here's actually something I was messing around with uh, a little while ago. Like the other day I was messing around with the conveyors. I knew you could adjust the height, and I wanted to see how high you could actually increase the uh, raise the conveyors. And you can go surprisingly high with them. I uh, honestly so don't know what kind of build you would need where you have to go with something like this high, but... Uh, that's just crazy. Wait, what was that? Maximum height. Uh. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you that because it comes in handy with logistic logistically moving conveyors around. Okay, I'm just finishing up getting this whole connect that I have to rebuild a lot of conveyors. As you can see, I went from uh, all the way over here with the conveyor line going all the way down here, and they still have to build it, and then I still got this one to build over here. But uh, they were mentioned that I did unlock the whole star map thing so I can see what planets have resources and stuff like that. Apparently. So if I go here, they don't tell me exactly what's on here. And he was talking about the silicone ore, about having to go to other planets where I can smelt stone for it and all that kind of stuff. But that's definitely where we're at now. So let's get out of here. And let's continue building this. Now, the research is done, so let's see what we can queue up in the meantime. Uh, I'm not too worried about the construction because that's just uh, uh, blueprinting. Yes, that's the only thing that does it actually does is unlock blueprinting, which I'm not too worried about that right now. Uh, this is going to be other planets. I'm not going to be worried about that. Communication control. Yes, I definitely want more drones. Uh, definitely want more mech speed, and might as well get this queued up at the same time. And we'll go over here, and hydrogen fuel cell, definitely. Uh, we, I'm, I am going to need that for the conveyors. Uh, what does this do? Just for the oil refining. Uh, I think I'm going to need these eventually. I do need these for the structure matrix for more research down the road. Uh, won't worry about that right now. Uh, deuterium, I believe, is... Oh, yeah, um, fusion power. What is it actually needed for that? 
Now that's a little ways away, so we won't worry about that right now. Again, that's pr proliferation. Uh, processor goes to information matrix, which is more research I have to do, so... Might as well queue that up since that's just the blue ones anyways. Uh, crystal smelting for energy storage. Hmm. Titanium I'm not too worried about right now because we have to go off, I have to go off planet for that. We might look at that in uh, further episodes, but we got enough research queued up for now. Anyway, I gotta get these conveyors done so my drones have something to do and I'll be right back. And there we go. We are producing energy matrix matrices. Uh, yeah, so they are being produced you now. They're going over to here where they're going to start getting processed. If we get funny, co interesting colors with that. Lack of matrix. Hmm. Let's see what happens here. Do they have to go into the same one? Hmm, I wonder if that's the case. I think so. Oh, let me see if we can figure this out. Okay, well, apparently they... Uh, all the cores have to go into the same facility, so they all have to actually be in here to research. So eventually I have to try to get everything pumping into these two, or four, or whatever. But anyways, uh, yeah, so as you can see, they, we are slowly chug plucking along on that. Alright, now I do have a bit of situation I'm trying to, get, trying to get out of here. And I need power too. Let's see if I can get over this tower quickly. There we go. Okay, now let's actually see what we can do with these solar panels now. Darn glass, copper, and circuits. I have looked at the, the, the footprint. It's not actually that big. Uh, let's see, I can actually go ahead and make some. I mean, I can make. I can make 10. I do have glass over here. Let's see if I can get it before my fuel runs out. Actually, I had glass over here. No, I didn't. I have it all the way down here, which I have to pipe all the way back over to the other end. Anyway, let me get some solar panels built and I will be back. I was wrong. It wasn't glass in here, it was silicone. Good thing I was producing that. Well, where would I have that silicone? Out of here somewhere. Let me find it and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got about 25 of them built already. So let's see exactly what these, how far I can space, how close I can space these. Oh, right next to each other. Nice. Of course, I will need to start making accumulators for them. Can I? Oh, I can. Oh, nice. I like that. Okay. There we go. 20 megawatts. I have no idea all the achievements. Don't get anything for them. Just bragging rights, which I don't really care. Okay, now where is a Tesla tower? Let's see where we're at here. Not too bad. Uh, how much of those accumulators? Uh, do I even have them unlocked yet? I don't think I do. I think that's further down. But uh, at least we'll take the take the demand off the, the coal. And I like that you can actually see when they start powering down when they don't have sun. That is really neat. Now, what I could do is I could also... My original plan was I wanted to... I was thinking about the power situation. I actually wanted to get like an equatorial wind farm going around the planet, but now I'm wondering maybe I should do a solar farm. And that way there's always power everywhere. But, uh, yeah, okay, so that is that. Um, let me get out of here. Uh, just waiting on research. I missed a, missed a sorter, so uh, this one here wasn't actually outputting, but it is slowly progressing. So I will continue on and bring you back when I got something else to talk about. Okay, I am back. So I decided to uh, stack another couple more uh, matrix slabs on here and it's definitely it is actually producing them twice as fast using twice as much materials through the bottom one. So that's going to be something good to know. I also do have to remember that 
uh, everything has to go into the same one and go on from there. As far as uh, organization, I have managed to get a few more containers set up. I brought the iron and the copper and the uh, glass over. I gotta bring the silicone over too. Uh, silicon, silicon, whatever. Uh, but what I've done is I have, as you can see, brought a conveyors along here, trying to tuck them in neatly in a nice little conveyor line going around the corner here. And I gotta admit, having this ability to fly around is really nice, except for when I run out of fuel. So that's why I want to get the fuel fuel cells going, which are coming up fairly soon. This uh, research is plowing right through. That's gonna be that. That's gonna be that. But what I might do is I might do a little bit of AFK to get this all unlocked and get this silicon set up and I'll bring you back when it's all said and done okay well everything is running nice and smoothly I did uh... I did actually do like the whole stacking containers idea I used to put them on top and it'll actually start filling up the second one so I thought that was actually a, a really nice feature you don't have to add bother hooking up conveyors it just automatically fills them up but before we end this one I think maybe we should go for a little bit of a flight uh... don't really know how much fuel I have I think I'll go pick up some a couple of stacks of coal with me. And then we'll go see what this whole flight thing is all about. Okay, now let's just make sure I'm all loaded up. Alright, let's get out of here. Now where can we go? Let's go to that one over there. Is it actually possible to fly away? Oh, I guess not. I guess I'm stuck here. Oh, well, I thought I was going to be able to leave. Maybe we can do that from here. Not 100% sure. Maybe I need a star drive to make it. Indicator view. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe... I'm Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm not ready to go there yet. Uh, let me check something quick. Okay, well, I'll look at the star map. Clearly tells me that I need a drive engine too. To get there and to get here. And I'm sure anywhere else. No, I don't know about further out. I think I need to get like to level 3, yeah, 4. That's where we're getting into warp drives and stuff like that. But going be quite the adventure getting there, but until then, I think uh, we're kind of landed here. Until you get more research then, anyways. Uh, let's see, where was I? But, yeah, I think this might be a good time to call this one here. I'll probably get some research done off camera and unlock some more stuff, and then maybe we'll continue on our crazy adventure into stripping this planet of everything that it has and move on to the next one. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Later.